Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everyone is having a good time with the new update. So we are on 0.12.1. Now it doesn't seem like a, a massive update or increment of an update when you look at it on paper or by the increments itself. But basically it is. So there's been a lot of changes through to the game since the initial re uh, release and launch of the closed beta update so a few things that have happened so we're going to go through some of the developer notes there and let you know what's been changed and first off you're going to see the removal of the fuel station which i don't know why that they've done this i actually liked the whole fuel storage system so again i'm scratching my head about it and not too sure why that this has happened but look it's happened so i guess you know now the way that we can only sort of um, put um, or create items, I guess. I mean, you're going to have to have fuel somewhere, I guess. I, I think that's going to be the case here. So, yeah, I, I guess that's going to be a thing for us to do. Or I have no, absolutely no idea. But there's various amount of charcoal. Not too sure exactly how that's going to work. Um... But for now, I can see that we can make a whole bit, you know, other little bits of charcoal with the different type of wood that we can um, uh, harvest and things like that. So, yeah, look, it is what it is. Anyway, we're going to get into it. While I'm doing that, I'm going to try my best to uh, de-loot as well at the same time, but we'll see how we go. So right now, we've got the new trader uh, system, new recipes as well. So I'm not too sure if that's just recipes for the trader or recipes in general. So we're gonna we're gonna obviously find out anyway. Uh, don't miss the chance to check out the bartender in the saloon as well. So we're gonna have a look at that as well. Um, what we've also got is Canyon Trial and Spirit Cave were rebalanced, considering the new craft system and the latest game changes. The Angry Bandits are finally back in Westland. Don't forget to build up the defense as well. At the moment. I do not have a defense to speak of, so I'm going to have to start doing that myself as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to start upgrading, get more resources and build up my defenses for that. Um, as we said before, the fuel and storage system was removed from the game. Coal and logs will be displayed as a necessary resource to produce items. Uh, we have cut energy consumption from the run mode, so that's interesting. Uh, we've changed the position of the dried forest according to its new difficulty. The walls can be deleted instantly and will not leave any broken parts. All the resources will be delivered to your inventory. To fix a wall, you no longer need to open the building mode. It is available right on the main screen. Okay. So can we do that now? Um, I don't think we can. Do I have to go into the... Okay. Well, fair enough. But I, I had to go into the build menu, so I don't understand. Oh well, I, I guess I'll work that out, I guess, in a sense. And everything seems to be okay on this front here. Um, actually, let's just quickly check that out. Let's look at the rewards. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. And apparently new recipes, so I'm not too sure what type of recipes or what have been, what's been changed or anything like that. So I haven't really gotten quite into that just yet, but um, fair enough. Durable leather belts. Still have no access to the steel items at the moment, which are a pain. And you need ash plank. Oh my goodness. All right. And yeah, okay. Fair enough. Um, okay. All right. I'm not going to spend too much time on that anyway. Um, so what else has changed? Okay, so the canyon trials. Uh, number of waves has been increased to 25. I couldn't even get through the first 15, let alone 25, so I don't know how that's going to happen. I'm guessing possibly that the, um, uh, the earlier waves will be a lot easier, maybe, hopefully. We'll find out, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that, that's happened. Uh, what else has been changed? Uh, yeah, old waves were changed. We have new added new enemies. That's fine. Attributes of animals can uh, you can tame were changed, and rewards have been changed according to waves difficulty. That makes sense. And the spirit cave got an overhaul as well. So yeah, look guys, 
a 0.1 update, it's given us a massive update, a massive changeover. So enemies in, uh, and allies health attack defense were changed in according to the new game balance. And this is for the spirit cave changes heading here. A suggested minimal level uh, to visit the cave is 30. Well, that's nice. At least that they've given that uh, for new time players coming through. Uh, rewards from the chest from the uh, Wakina won't be changed with increasing a cave level. All right. Rewards from the boss's chest will uh, be changed with increasing a cave level. Uh, to get to the boss, you'll have to kill at least one mini boss, a Piazza or Sonova. And more enemies and chests were added into the fourth room. All right, so a little, a little bit more has been, you know, uh, changed, chopped and changed, and all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, so, so far that's it. And then obviously we've got the bug fixes. So I fixed the bug when cancelling the repair process. They gave full durability and scale of the item. And I fixed the bug when the damage hit were not synced, okay? And I fixed a rare bug when the bodyguards didn't attack a cowboy during the bounty hunting. So that pretty much sums up everything that we had to sort of go through today. So hopefully you guys sort of enjoyed that one there. I'm just going to leave everything here for now. Um... Actually, I'll pop you into there, and I'll put the stuff into, no, I don't have the space for that there, just see for now if that'll do, and I'll just take out everything here, and what I'll do as well is I'll get out of these warm clothing, I really don't need that here anyway, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the little, um, uh, the verbal confirmation with what's been given through the dev notes, so yeah, so that's basically it, what we've got here at the moment. And I think I might just take the Bowie knife instead, leave the bayonet behind. Now let's just jump on our horse and we'll get out of here. Okay, so let's head over to the new trader. Let's head over here. So apparently the new trader system, um, so there's, well, I sort of discussed this in a previous video where um, we can get certain items, certain things from these new traders here. So I want to check it out, see what's changed. We'll head over to the saloon, see what's up with that as well. Um, now the saloon, I think it was a bartender, that's right. So it was a bartender we had to visit, to see what the bartender has, um, has to say, what's been changed. And also, um, yeah, we've got bandits back. So I'm gonna have to start in, um, fixing up my base. So it's gonna um, you know, stretch my playing time with uh, Westland a little bit more when I'm playing around, um, you know, or cycling with, with all of my other games. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so we've actually, it's like a multiplayer zone. Ah, oh, how cool is that? It just sort of ran in and ran out, that's awesome. Anyway, um, yeah. So this is what we've got. And I need certain things to secret infusion. Okay, secret infusion. Hmm. I'm gonna buy one of those. So you can do that four times. Okay. I don't know what that what that's all about, but I'm gonna take it. So I'll spend the coins. I don't care. And then you can either do yeah. So you can trade. Well, having, having these certain items or you pay the coin and basically um, you'll get the healing items or whatever is here. But that's with this guy here. Let's have a look at... Oh no, it's the same guy. Same guy. Let's talk to you. And what do you have for me here? Okay, so I basically need some... Uh, what is this? Th dense uh, texture. We've got jute here. I'm going to need fiber to replace. Yeah, so interesting enough. I guess that's pretty much it. There's really not much else to go through here. I mean, nothing else appears to be any different. Wish you could take free stuff here. That'd be fun. But anyway, is what it is. All right, so we're going to head over to the town. Go check out the saloon and speak to the bartender. 
There we are. And my horsey is getting a massive workout today, as you can see. Alrighty. I wonder if anything else has changed. Alright, we've got a few players mucking about here. Alright, so where's the saloon? Okay, okay, nothing over here. I really should know where it is by now, at this point in time. And then that's the sheriff's office. Or did I just blow right past it, which I probably would have done, in all my luck. You know how it is when you don't look at things, or you don't, you know? You don't sort of take notice of your surroundings, I think that's what it is. We've got a few of you guys over here. Oh, there's the saloon. Okay. Same deal. He just wants a little coinage and that's it. And has he changed? And same deal. Fish, fix up something. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. That's the major changes over there. I mean, I'm not going to go into the canyon trials today or do the spirit caves today. I haven't really got time for that exactly at the moment, unfortunately. But wanted to sort of check out the update itself, run through the patch notes. I'm sure you guys would have seen this by now. Unfortunately, at this time, I don't know if the iOS users have um, finally got the update just yet. Um, but unfortunately for them, it's always a little bit longer until Apple certifies the update before they push it out to the masters. So it is what it is. So nothing aesthetically upfront hasn't changed. Still the same. I'm sure that, you know, the changes will be seen inside. But I might just run over to the pine forest here. I'm going to need some wood, I'm going to have to start cutting down that uh, that wood there and get some uh, planks so I can start upgrading all of my um, uh, defences, sorry, my walls and things like that around the perimeter of my base, only purely because of the bandit situation. I should have done that a long time ago, I know a lot of people have been eking out about that and um, yeah, my bad on that one there, so I'm going to have to start doing it now unfortunately, but we'll... Um, We'll make good on that and um, hopefully, you know, if the bandits do arrive, I'm going to be a little bit more on the prepared side. I'm going to take all of that for sure. Not going to worry about the boar here. You know what? We'll just jump into auto mode and just grab anything and everything. I think I should be right with this um, axe. Should get me through the zone. We'll see how we go anyway. But I think I might have some pine planks as my guy's running about. Okay, there's your compensation, and that's because of the uh, the fuel station that was removed. Got some maple board here. I'm hoping I've got some pine board still up here. If I do, good, because at least I can put that towards um, upgrading and things like that. I think I'm going to need some copper nails as well, which I don't think I have a lot. So I think that's something there. Only five pine boards. Uh, not good. Uh, let's see, got some iron ore, which is good. Oh, Oop, who's that? Oh, okay, <laughs> no problems there. Always freak out, especially when you're not watching your player, or your cowboy in this case, uh, do his thing. 
it's always more of a dramatic thing, so to, anyway, doesn't matter. Same deal. I'm not going to worry about it. I think I'll be fine. And yeah, I've only got fine, pl uh, fine planks, so I'm going to need to, um, yeah, really invest some time and energy to do um, a lot of resource running and things like that. But, you know, so far, so good. I mean, easy zones, so you don't have to really hurry about your exile here. I think now at this point, depending on how the bandit system's going to work, if they're going to run in any zone like they did beforehand, um, will I need then to worry about um, aggravating bandits and things like that? Or if it's still just through the bounty as well, that will be good too. But pretty sure it's still through the random NPC running into zones as well, if I'm not mistaken. But again, I, was, I wasn't playing the game as often or if not at all uh, when the bounty, oh sorry, the bandits were initially in the game so my knowledge on them uh, is not the best unfortunately so I'm going to try and bring myself up to speed as well so hopefully I'll, um, I'll have a little bit more knowledge moving forward but I would think at this point you guys will have a lot more knowledge than what I currently do at the moment so yeah, it is what it is but it doesn't matter. And where are we at with things here? I think we're sort of getting three quarters of the way the back, uh, through the zone here, so shouldn't take too much longer. What are we on? What have we got left? Well, the axe is doing still really doing good, and we're nearly at 80 pieces of uh, log, which is good. And I think I'll leave the boars alone. And what else have we got here? So let me know what you guys think as well um, with this new update. Are you um, happy that the bandits are back? Are you guys happy with the whole um, uh, rebalance of the canyon tri uh, trials, spirit cave and all that sort of stuff? Have you guys actually gone into either one of those zo uh, zones yet? And um, you know, um, how far have you gotten? I want to want to know what you guys have done. Also, uh, what type of rewards now are there? I mean, are they just the standard rings? Do we have other things as well for the canyon trials? Um, is there better loot now in the spirit cave? And I think that's probably a, another thing to sort of uh, roll into as well. With all that being said, okay. I'm hoping that was just an NPC, that wasn't an actual player, but I'm gonna loot you anyway, my friend. Um, definitely taking that and I'll give that back to you because I really don't need that. Take the copper. Yeah, so interested to know if there's better loot because I think that's been a, a sticking point for a lot of people that sort of might not do the spirit cave um, because of that reason that you just get the basic loot all the time and I hope the loot is a lot better now moving forward. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Um, have, you, have you gone through all the... Um, all the difficulty levels have you only done the basic level just to see what it's um how it sort of plays out now uh be interested to know just going through some of the facebook comments through the update as well i mean up and down from what i can see um you know one person wasn't really happy that the fuel storage was um taken out i mean it's got at this time of this recording about nine upvotes on that one um some people weren't uh, too happy about the whole bandit system coming back in and that's got about eight up, up votes on that uh, but yeah interesting mixed emotions with with this some people like it some people don't I mean look updates are always good at the end of the day guys so you're gonna have to understand there's there's not always the perfect update um, some updates are better than others some updates are worse than others so got to sort of take it as it is and how, how you sort of want to take that is entirely up to your choosing but i mean for me i'm happy that any update comes through the bandit system and uh you know in uh liaison with um you know getting the bandits angry and things like that always a good thing it brings a different dimension a different element into the game and you guys have to do a little bit more you know for your troubles worth so i guess that's always a good thing so for me i think that's good but i'm gonna have to start um yeah, producing pine. Where is that? There it is. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and get that up and running. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so 40 pine planks. So I'm going to need more. And I think that's been updated actually. Ash plank is now available. 
but there's no ash trees, that's the thing. And then you've got the, uh, the large plank as well. Still need these other resources as well. Um, I've got a tutorial update. Oh, that's right, I remember that. I completely forgot about you. Thanks. Completed that. Track quest. Produced cooked meat. I think I can do that. I think I've got enough meat that I can produce. Uh, here we go. Oh, I don't have any wood. <laughs> anyway, I will work that out, I guess. Anyway, so I'll work that out. But otherwise, yeah, guys, as always, thanks for stopping by, checking out the video. Let me know what you think about the whole new update in the comment section down below. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know how I'm doing. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Check out all the other survival games that I'm playing. I'm playing quite a bit of games at the moment, so do check that out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. As always, take it easy. Catch you next time.